This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Principles, Unit 5, Building Apps, Lesson 14, Building an App, Image, Scroll, Er, Puzzle 8, Refactoring Code. On the last level, we copied a few lines of code to a different part of the program. Hopefully, warning bells went off into your head. Anytime you are copying portions of code from one area to another, it's a good indication that you should write a function. Yes, 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 yes. To capture that behavior in one place, right? It's prime candidate, it's uh, abstraction, and we want to uh, have abstraction. When you add new features to your code, you will often create redundancies. And in code, redundancies are looked at like inefficiencies. They are inefficient, they slow stuff down. To keep your code readable and consistent, you may need to rewrite old pieces of code. This process of restructuring existing code without changing its external behavior is called refactoring, and it's done constantly in programming. Good programmers do it. It is an important process when developing software that improves code's readability and reduces complexity. As a result, code is much easier to maintain and runs more efficiently, usually. Create a function called down up arrow. Move the code from the up arrow event handler. Oh, do up arrow. And the, to the, ah, okay. And do down arrow. Got it. And then you're going to have it call the function. Yes. Excellent. All right, let's do that then. So function. Oop, not inside my event. Above other function. Okay, and then I'm going to want a function calls a lot of those, but one sec. Do up arrow. Okay, and then what we want in our up arrow is the same thing that's in here. Oops. Hello. Let's move. I'm going to control Z that, which is undo. Ah, control Z, which is undo. I'm going to go to text and I'm going to right click cut. And I'm going to right click and paste it, the code. But ah, and then I'm going to make this do down arrow. And then I'm going to get all of this code and I'm going to right click and say cut. Right click and say paste. Okay. Uh, in traditional programming, you would want your functions at the top because they need to be created before you call them. However, JavaScript's more versatile, so I'm going to put mine towards the bottom. Okay. And then inside of this, we do function calls. So I can do blocks for that. I think it's a bit more readable. Um, but here's what I have thus far. Oh, that's annoying. Okay. Right, so I just moved the code into do up arrow, do down arrow, and now remember functions don't run automatically. You have to ask the computer to run them, and the way you ask is nicely. Well, it's by using the function name. So up image is going to be do up arrow, and then down image. Right, when I click down button, it's going to be do down arrow. So now. Same thing here. I'm going to get rid of all of this, right? So our code is becoming more efficient. Do up arrow. And then I'm going to be able to get rid of all of the insides here and use do down arrow. And that way, each time we hit this code, it's going to still do the exact same thing. Just run the function, though, right? Instead of running that code itself, it says, hey, look for down, do down arrow. Oh, where's that? Uh, here. Nope, here. And then it runs the code inside. Then it comes back and keeps running at where it was. All right, let's test. Up, 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 down. Now I'm going to hit the keyboard. Up, 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 down. And double check. Victory. Awesome. So copying those and then getting the function calls. Um, yeah, it improves their code. Let's uh, keep going.